I'm really looking forward to this interview. It's with China Crisis. How are you doing, guys? Better than James Brown, and he feels good. <laughs> yeah, great. Sun's out. Couldn't be better. <laughs> it's lovely to see you. Welcome to Rewind Scotland. What time are you on? Uh, five to three. Five, five to, to three. three yeah. Fantastic. 30 minutes, so... Each year, because uh, you know they've, they've, they've eventually realised how good we are, <laughs> so they add an uh, extra couple of minutes. Each yeah, time. exactly. <laughs> we get to do extra songs <laughs> each year as it goes on. Oh, fantastic! Well, I was going to ask you actually, can you sing for me the first line of the song that you think will get the biggest reaction from the crowd today? Probably a Tony Adley one. <laughs> no. <laughs> You've got the long song. These guys are going to be hard work, aren't they? These guys are going to be hard work. What's fun about Rewind? I mean, they're great, aren't they? It's like, uh, you know, they, they, they've become such a tradition now. I mean, I got people back home and everywhere. People travel all over for it. Uh, We've driven from Nottingham. We've come up from Nottingham. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. Why didn't you go to the Henley one or I the, will, or the Mac? I'll go to all of them. Oh, you go to yeah. all of them as well, yeah. So, I mean, they're great. They're just like, they're an institution now, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, people love it. It's escapism. The artists they have on are, are fantastic. Most of them. Most of them. <laughs> we are, of course. Do you want to elaborate on that? <laughs> well, you know, the ones that don't go rifling through my question cards beforehand, obviously. Look at him. He was even sitting, checking out his questions. If you were in the audience today, then, if you are in the audience, who would you be most excited about seeing? Ooh. Who's on? <laughs> <laughs> Tony Hadley, Go no, West. No, do you know what? Red Box. I, I, I do like Squeeze, obviously. Um, Toya. Oh, China Crisis. Gary's a, <laughs> Gary's a massive Toya fan. Yeah, Toya's great. She really is great, really. Uh, she's a dynamic Toya, really. And she looks incredible for yeah, 60 she's whatever a she is. Great, great role model. She's a fantastic woman, really. She really is. Have you eaten any of the sweets from the bar yet? No, because we have our own private stash back uh, in our changing room. What do you have in your changing room then? Well, we've got a bowl of fruits. It used to be. Uh, you know, loose women and drugs, but now what is it, Gary? Uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, sweets and crisps and, yeah, salty snacks, which are very dangerous for us now, actually. And, yeah, candy, and most of them are in my bag, actually, to take home <laughs> for the grandkids. <laughs> Who have you most enjoyed chatting to backstage so far? <laughs> well, since that you're the first person, it has <laughs> to be you. <laughs> What's the best thing about being in a band? Do you know what? We have never not been in a band. We've been doing this now over 40 years. Um, and I can't remember, I can't actually remember what it was like not being in a band. Wow. Travelling in the band is fantastic, really. I mean, the job gets you to see places you would never see. We would never have really got to see, really. And that's everywhere from Mexico to New Zealand, to Canada, to Europe. I mean, it's been amazing, the traveling and meeting people. I mean, we got to Australia and New Zealand last year. We like swam with dolphins. Yeah, wow. and that's the first time we got there, really, in 40 years. So imagine meeting those fans that had lived with our music all that time, and then finally you get to meet them all. That was, that was a bit, bit special, really. So yeah, there's lots and lots of special things about being in a band, really. If your band, is lucky enough to be a bit successful. Do you know what I mean? That, that's that's the key to it all, really. Is a bit, 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 bit of luck. And if you get on. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Oh yeah. Well, you wouldn't do it if you didn't, did you? Would you? Mm, I don't know. Would you not kind of keep going for? Why? <laughs> Good question. Good question. Why? Um, who is the last person you texted or called or messaged or whatever today? Today, uh, today was actually a guy called uh, Steve Lewis, who used to be our publisher uh, back at Virgin Records. And he texted me earlier on. Uh, so I just returned the text. What were you listening to on the way in this morning? I always listen to sports. <laughs> I'm a massive sports fan, so I was Somebody listening. Somebody else said that to us to earlier, didn't they? Yeah. So oh, I, I know it's a doctor. So doctor I, was, I, I was listening to... Um, Cricket. No, no, no. Funny enough, it was like the female whale call for oh, Okay. I was trying. I was in the car with Jack, our keyboard player, Dave, our bass player, and I was trying not to listen to the music they were playing. 
dad a bit younger, you see, or bass player and keyboard player? Well, it was uh, jazz, funk, and they were concentrating on listening to the solos that some guys were doing on keyboards. And I was in the back trying to just colour in, really. So <laughs> it was a bit distracting, really. So. Do you know what I mean? You listen to a lot of stuff, don't you? You, do, you don't always necessarily have to like it. It's like, you know, that's what your ears are for. <laughs> we're, going, we're going to pretend that this isn't the first interview you've had today. Imagine that you've had interviews all okay. like for the last two hours. Who's been the best person that's interviewed you today? But it's <laughs> been <laughs> you, Helen. It's oh, been you. You made, <laughs> you made my day. Guys, it's a pleasure to speak to you. you As too. always, you thanks too. for a million.